University of Lagos and Sokoto. And everything applied the same. In this circumstance, despite the problem of Boko Haram there, the, I am sure the Vice Chancellor of the University of Meduguri, who introduces these unaccepted or unacceptable fees, is from Meduguri or from Yobe or from Adamao State, I'm sure. And uh, as much as Muhammad uh, Tari Munguno is concerned with the plight of the people there because of the ravages of the Boko Haram, he is equally concerned. We don't know where he introduces this. We should look into that. Let us not adopt what will cripple the university entirely. In the course of referring this, uh, this uh, uh, motion to the Committee on Tertiary Education, we should equally allow them to find out what is the causes, what is the general cause of that. If it is something that is reasonable, then it should be considered. If we uh, compel them to accept our concern here, that may lead to something greater and that will, what will not want to happen in the university. And meanwhile, I would also want to extend beyond this motion, Mohammed uh, uh, Tahir or anybody else should come up with a bill or amendment act to the bill establishing the uh, National Universities Commission whereby we can regulate that universities cannot increase fares arbitrarily at any time. It should be guided. We should set a st standard and a criteria. We can say a university can only increase fees after five years or after 10 years, even that after obtaining permission from the National University Commission, which is their regulator. If we allow it to go just a motion, able to, to hear, we'll continue to have a motion of this nature. This is my submission, and I support this motion, and I hope it will be considered appropriately. Thank you.